Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'm going to show you how we can validate or we can use the data with, which is coming from the database. So first of all, we need to make, to make a connection that we already done in the previous sessions. We are going to make query that is done, executing query and we are getting a result from the, from the database. On this level, we should always get name B. For that, we can go to the outline level and here right click, add assertion and I want to check for the existence. You can check for existence that this should be always exist or for the content that always exist and the content should be name should be name B. I am going to save it and one assertion we have made that it should always contain name B on this level. I'm executing this, it's going to get passed because we are getting name B. But think about the condition, I'm going to change this query and I mention where, only fetch the records where name like percentage A. So in this case, it's not going to return name B from the database, but we have made an assertion that we should have name B in the response. If we don't have, it's going to fail. So I execute this and here it shows it's getting failed. You are expecting name B, but in actual, it is showing name A. So by this way, we have validated the response, which is coming from the database. Also, we can, so I'm removing the part of the query, taking to the original position, running it again, and this time again passed. I also can, I also can use the data which is coming from the database in our SOAP UI. So I want to use this name B in a further step so I can of all I'm defining a property on project level like I'm coming to the property and here I'm giving the property name is DB data right click on that transfer to add property step and it's going to transfer this property to the property step so here we can see a property is transfer which is testing dot name and the value will be which is coming from the database so now we can use this property in a in further steps we have validated the response which is coming from the database and also we can transfer the data into our properties and we can reuse the property in further steps so that's all we have covered in the session in which we have validated the data and we have reused the data which is coming from the database. That's all we have. Thanks for watching this video.